three people don't want the raw fish. Okay. That's a Let good start, isn't it? Yes, man. <laughs> oh, amazing. The room is lovely, but I don't like these little angels. Okay. They just freak me out. Okay, so I can remove if those. If you just can get rid of yeah, them. Yeah, of course. It was like a little bit like a horror movie. Oh my God, that's the statue they chose. If you're that bougie, buy your own bloody yacht. Aisha somehow stayed afloat for the first series of Down Under. Yes, Captain, yeah. And is back on board for season two. This time in Cairns, the gateway to the Great Barrier Reef. Welcome to Australia, ladies and gentlemen. There's a brand new crew. You come into the room like you're ready to punch someone, and that's not how it should be on a yacht. More unruly tourists. Why do you guys not understand that I'm lactose intolerant? And for Aisha, a fresh attitude. This season, I'm not going to take any sh from people. I'm a tough <laughs> now. to have you here. T like, these days, do you think of yourself as more of a boat steward or more of a, like, celebrity reality star? <laughs> you know, I will always be a stewardess at heart, but if I'm being honest, these days I am a bit more of a reality TV star, yeah. which I love. <laughs> <laughs> All my dreams are coming true. <laughs> so, so you're back home in New Zealand, are people recognising you in the airport and on the street? Yeah. They do, but it's a funny thing in New Zealand because in the States there's a massive celeb culture. So when people recognise me, it's like, oh my God, I love you so much! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're really in my face, <laughs> like this far away from it. But in New Zealand, people are so much more relaxed that they, they know who you are, but they, they don't want to bother you and say hi. Uh -huh. So you just walk around and everyone's staring at you, <laughs> which I kind of find worse because, I don't know, just come and say hi. So you're like, have I got something on my nose? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. What are, what are people? Yeah. What do people want to know when you actually meet fans of the show? What do they ask you? What are they interested in? Every single person asks me, is the show real? Yeah. And I just, I really want to take this opportunity to tell people, it is real. It's absolutely real. It's the most real reality show you can get. Really? The, the fourth wall is very, very strong on Below Deck, so you can't acknowledge the producers, the cameramen, and you don't need to. We work such long hours with so much stress. Everyone's going to explode on their own. <laughs> <laughs> what I'd like to know then oh, yeah. is, um, so what are rich people like? <laughs> the, rich people, the rich people that we get on the show are fun because they do cast the guests as well, so they're always a really good time. But in my experience pre-show when I was working on the boats in the Mediterranean, on a whole, they're just kind of sad. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I, I know? They say money doesn't buy happiness, and I do believe that because a lot of them are just really paranoid, super small group of friends, and you, they get drunk and they cry. Thanks for that. You just dashed my hopes and aspirations. Yeah. <laughs> that actually makes me feel so much better hearing that. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. you're so poor. <laughs> 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 I, I, but I'm happy. <laughs> I, I wanted to ask about the hookups, because that's like yes. one of the appeals of the show. But like who can connect like that on camera? Do people notice the cameras there in their face? Well, I think it's the whole work hard, play hard thing. So when we go out, everyone gets so white girl wasted <laughs> that I don't think anyone remembers that the cameras are in the room. Okay. And it's not until they're watching it back in their living rooms with their families that they're like <laughs> <laughs> shouldn't have done that. Speaking of which, have you done anything that you've regretted on the show, looking back? Uh, no, you know what? I've always been such an open book. I am who I am, so I don't regret anything. <laughs> Good for Maybe you. I should, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon is the key to, to being a really good reality TV star? Not, not that I need any advice. <laughs> but... What, are you auditioning for something? Well, no, but is it, is it actually being aware of the cameras and almost playing to the cameras mm. or being completely oblivious to the cameras? I think in my role, it's a little bit of a mix. Like, I think that I got as far as I have because I'm so good at being myself and just pretending that the cameras aren't there. But now that I'm a leading role, I do kind of take it upon myself in the back of my mind to be like, have these people talked about their relationship? Have these people talked about the person <laughs> they don't like? And I'm like, how are you in blah, blah, blah? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I try That's and swoon my way in and get... I was about to tell you as well. <laughs> yeah, tell me everything. <laughs> Would you recommend this life to New Zealanders? So many Kiwis end up on these boats. The yachting? Yeah. Absolutely. I think it was absolutely life-changing for me. And in the one sense, it gives you an incredible work ethic because you are working your 
absolute ass off. And then on the other hand, you're you're experiencing experiencing luxury that most Kiwis just don't see and can't mm. afford. Like I remember in my second year of yachting, I was working on this 95 meter super yacht, stunning. And we'd finished the seasons, the, the season, the guests got off, and we're up in the jacuzzi, sipping their <laughs> leftover Dom <laughs> Perignon, <laughs> like using up all the caviar. Yeah. And you just can't, you just don't do that here. Totally. Well, for Why more leftover caviar <laughs> and uh, left behind Dom Perignon, the new season of Below Deck Down Under premieres next Tuesday, 8.30 on Bravo or 3 now. Thanks, Aisha Scott.